Okay. We'll see if this works. I don't have my tripod out here. I know just kind of a spur of the moment thing. But I thought I would explain why I haven't done videos for a while. Now, after I did that last video, I got hit with a strike on a video that I had done like a year, year and a half ago. And it was one of these, uh, you know, infamous misinformation strikes again. That's the, the catch-all label that they use. Well, okay, now that was my second strike. So there, I'm, you're on touchy ground because three strikes and your channel gets deleted. So I waited out the two weeks uh, that I was suspended for. And then I figured out that you know, I would still have two strikes. So I'm still on shaky ground. You know, they can hit you any time. You know, they can always go back. Uh, they love to do that. Go back years and find something that they can now call misinformation. Like I say, it's a catch-all. So I waited. And by waiting a little more than the two weeks, I was able to outlive the previous strike. So now I'm down to one strike. So I have that little bit of wiggle room to dare to make this video. But uh, I'm not going to, you know, after this one, I'm, I'm going to hold off for a while. Because this could easily get a strike. Uh, <laughs> they're a funny bunch to deal with. But here's what happened. After, you know, Biden had done that, that crazy... Nazi-esque speech where he ended up calling half of the country uh, enemies of the state, you know, where he uh, had the, the red lighting and the armed guard stand, you know, that whole nonsense. He got a lot of crap for that from a lot of people. So shortly after they had that speech, they had a get together, the administration, with the social media companies and the tech companies and and the whole plan was that they had to crack down on any dissent to the party line so they really put this into effect you know they started going after anybody who didn't follow the party line so there was a lot of people that got hit uh, that got suspensions and, and, you know, this went on and on. Uh, a lot of people got kicked off of, like, Twitter, and it's this is still ongoing. Uh, in fact, now, you know, and it's always done under misinformation, that, that vague catch-all term. But today, you now, even hear that uh, PayPal, which, of course, is one of them same tech companies that's in with this administration, they jumped on the bag bandwagon now, and they are going to do a, uh, they can actually, if, if you put out disinformation, they can fine you $2,500 for every case of misinformation. <clears throat> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Why not, I guess? You know, the other ones haven't figured out to maybe do a little fining, too. But uh, PayPal is going to. But that's why it got me thinking, okay, I wasn't going to do any videos for a while. I have to tread a little carefully because at the moment... Google owes me uh, right around a grand. Now, if they can kick me off of my channel, 
there's a very good chance that he will stiff me on that. So, <laughs> so like I say, I've got room now. I could take one hit. And if I kind of sneak by, I can maybe get my money out of him. <laughs> There's that possibility, though, that the uh, I have heard of this happening before. You know, all of a sudden your channel disappears. They're left owing you money, and they say, "What money? What channel?" Yeah. Okay. So it's something to be aware of. But they're all jumping on this bandwagon uh, of misinformation. Now, this isn't going to last. This won't hold up. And they know it. But they're trying to push this to keep people from saying anything subversive, let's say, in their mind until after the midterms. Because after the midterms, you know, they, they got all their hopes pinned on, on the midterms. If they lose that, they go down completely. Um, all these companies, these companies, these, these tech companies are struggling as it is. And the social media companies, they are really struggling. They're taking a beating. There's a lot of court cases that keep coming up and they keep losing. So... Like, I know there's one now, it's going to be appealed, but it's going to end up in the Supreme Court eventually. But it has to do with your First Amendment rights. The whole freedom of speech issue is what's at in the balance here. So it will end up in the Supreme Court eventually, but their hope is to just shut people up until after the midterms. If they can't swing it, then they're screwed anyway. But that's their, their deadline. So they're going way out on a limb. Doing stuff that, like I say, will no way stand up. But if they could just hold the crap together that long, that's their plan. Well, So you'll see more of it anytime anybody says anything contrary to their policy, they're going to jump on them because it's the only thing they got to stand on now. I mean, they can't run on anything. You know, the, the tech companies, the social media companies are really tied in with this administration and they've, they've got nothing. To run on. I mean, they're trying to, to make this abortion issue fly, but I don't think that's going to pull them through. So they're struggling. So the only thing they can do is censor you. And that's what they're going to try to do. It's funny to watch. But it was ridiculous. Like, say, even the, the, the last strike that I got, I guess it was for a video I did a long time ago, but evidently, it, I think it was called Where We Are and How We Got Here. But it, in, in that, it had something, I evidently had said something about issues involved in the last election. Well, you can't do that now. You know, you can't, anybody else's election anywhere in the world, you can call them a sham, no problem. But here in this country, oh no, <laughs> that's funny. So I'm not going to do anything until after the election. You know, once these midterms are over, and then I think all of their antics that they've been pulling are going to come back to haunt them. And it's going to take a while, but, you know, I think 
I think it's going to kill these companies, which is fine. They need to go. Uh, you know, like as it is now, uh, my theory on these social media companies and these tech companies, uh, they're not relevant anymore. If if there's not two sides to a story, if you're only allowed to have one side to the story, it isn't relevant. So I can live without it. You know, I, I, it doesn't make any difference to me. But it's a shameful way to be. But we'll see, you know, what happens in the future. So I'll keep the option open. You don't like my theory. I, I was, I could just shut the whole thing down if they don't shut it down for me, which they keep threatening to do. But I'm gonna leave it ride because I don't. The idea of uh, having everything that I've done for the last what, eleven years disappear. Uh, seems foolish, so I'll let it ride. But I will not do anything more until after this this whole freedom of speech issue gets settled. And I think the only way it's going to get settled is grind them people into the dust, and they they deserve it. So I'll let it happen. They they're riding everything on this election though. You know, and like I say, they got nothing to run on. So they just got to shut people up. You know, because they got the news media in their back pocket. So, you know, they have control that way. But if they can keep it so that nobody can actually say the truth, or if they can call any truth misinformation, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's a funny world we're living in. But they'll go down. Like I say, there's the court cases now. It's just so obvious now. They're not even really making an attempt to hide it anymore. But they're pinning everything on this. If they can keep the Democrats in power. You know, they can just slide it along a little bit further. But I think that jig is up. I think they're I think they're screwed. Which is good. You know, there's there's gotta be a lot better way of handling this. You know, they like they they had shut down RT. And my understanding is now that RT ended up having to sue Google, and so now Google has to allow RT on again. You know, there's a lot of this stuff that is going to catch up to, you know, just heavy-handed tactics that they have used that is going to catch up with them. But they don't seem to care. I mean, they're just going all in on this. But that's a story anyway. You ain't going to hear anything more from me uh, for quite some time. If I even decide to again, uh, I only wanted to do this one more video so I could explain what had happened and kind of warn you of what is going on. It's the last big push that they're making. But I think it's going to catch up with them. I hope. I mean, it's only right that it does. <laughs>